Apple Doctor Germany. My name is Ben. Good morning and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. And today in the morning we just start by an iPhone 8 um, which looks like that. Came in from a customer, mailed in over our website and the phone just looks like that. Okay. It came it came here exactly exactly like that. Okay. So the problem is that the customer needs the important data and before I do anything at this board I just want to get it out and to see how it looks like. So we can find the error and the customer gets his important data. Yesterday I, I, I didn't give you a video why um, the problem was that I started three videos and all three videos were just uh, components. Mailed in for back camera repair two times and it was only the cam. Um, mailed in for, um, for no charge and it was only the battery and things like that. The whole day we did devices with no errors. iPhone X water damage came in was just the screen. Next iPhone X, X came in for, water, uh, for data rescue after water damage and it was only the screen. So yesterday it was really crazy. Um, then we just did some, some MacBook repairs and I didn't want you to give a video for that um, because um, it just didn't make any sense. It was just the SMC. Yeah, what should I say? Okay, now we got the board. I don't see a hard bend on that. It looks pretty good. Normally I would say it could work. It could work without any problems um, from the optic. Okay, so let's see if it really can work or not. So we connect the power supply. Oh, we have a VDD short. So not a big thing at all, I think. I thought it would be much bigger because the phone from the outside looked really bad. And I thought, oh, perhaps we can do fast board swap on an iPhone 8. I already showed that to you sometimes, but here would be really a, di a nice data recovery, data rescue job um, by just swapping the board. Um, but now it's just a VDD shot, so I just get the clue stickers off. And we go straight under the microscope. I just want to see at first what we have here. Okay, you see that the EMI shield is bent because of the drop. So we get it up a little bit. Okay. What about that here? Do we see any cracks on ICs? The first view not. Okay, then let's use the thermal cam to see more. By the way, we use um, a SIG Pro as thermal cam. And we have engineered by ourselves here at the company this beautiful holder for the SIG. So you can plug in the SIG here and you can you have it directly on the stand. So I think that's a really nice nice tool and you can get that at obsec obsecu.de. I will give you the link under this video. So if you want to order that, it's no problem. They have them in stock. So, let's see what we can do here. First, we need to get the cable in the right position. Oh, do you see that? It's <laughs> this is really a fast video. So let's have a look at that, people. Do you see that? A small cap 
directly on the top of the power IC. So, this is a case where you could use the short killer, but I'm in general not a friend of short killers at all because I don't trust them. Um, I I showed last time a short like this on an iPhone 8 and um, after we used the short killer we got a partially um, shorted capacitor and we had to, to take it out after using the short killer too so I'm not a friend at all of this can be nice in some cases if you know how to use but it's not necessary to use it so at this point, because I don't want to affect the power I see, it's underfilled, it sits off the back, uh, to the back side of the CPU, and I don't want to, uh, to get too much heat here, so I just want to get up the overfill and then just knock out the cap. We have enough caps on VCC or VD main uh, for stabilization of that line, so it's not a problem if we knock out one cap and um, it's not a bad job if we do it in that way but um, replacing a cap at this place wouldn't be wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be uh, good doesn't make any sense and you see you can see the cap which is is broken here just took away a little bit of the overfill and you see it's hardly burned so and this is a nice damage because it's just a little cap small amount of hot air and knocking off the cap taking away the overfill or the underfill like ever we're getting a better look and this it was so seven minutes I thought it would be a bigger problem but I don't want to waste to waste this video now um, should we have a look if this board wants to boot yes we will do so I just wait a short second until the board cooled down then I take a test screen for iPhone 8 just need to have a look where we got it here here's the 8 plug in the screen and just get on the cable so and oh we have another shot great great it's really nice nice not only one shot we got another one so perhaps the video takes a better form now great really amazing so we take again the thermal cam and having a look where the next shot is Oh, here's the next one. The, the, the cap next beside to that burnt cap. You see, it's fucked up too. We will get it out now. So, great. Not only one cap. Why not? Okay, next one. Small amount of hot air. And getting out the cap. And you see that cap here. Perhaps we got a third one on that line. Yep. 
Yeah, man. It's his third one. Three caps shorted. Directly on the upper side to the power, I see. Great. So, why this happens after a drop? Caps are made of several several layers of ceramic and if the ceramic breaks you will get a short and now the shot has gone so we have removed three caps three caps just to remove one short why not it's pretty okay I think Okay, so let's have a look. Short has gun. And now let's see if we can boot. And great. Great. We got the next issue. We got we have removed now the short on VCC main and we got the next problem. And that's nice. That's a thing typically for these damages after hard bend. Let's have a look. Okay, now we just take the terminal again and having a look what's happening if, uh, when we boot because we got uh, jumping around numbers on uh, power supply. I wanted to scream boom back to life again but no, not back to life again. Was a hard imp was a hard impact on this board. So, let's have a look. Do you see that? Great. We got the next cap here. Okay, could be partially shorted cap at this point. Was the damage really as hard as this directly on that point of the board? Here you see, yeah, okay, we have to activate again our microscope cam, sometimes it just fucks up, okay, we go to Epsilon and we go back to XRGB and it just doesn't want to Just doesn't want to start. Okay. Give me a second, it will work again. I'm pretty sure about that. I just have to disconnect and connect again the cam. Sometimes the last weeks it just shuts down, but I think I have to renew my system. Okay, it just doesn't want to work, but why? We go to another video format. 
so but here we have a problem it just doesn't look nice xrgb just doesn't want to to fit no again and again i'm really sorry for that now because it just takes time and it's senseless but it's windows okay so i get out the cam i get in the cam again Okay, I wait for the digim. I'm in. Then I activate again. Then I go to any. No, it just doesn't want to work. I have to restart OBS, so I just I just give you here another video format. So you You have to take it in that way. Because here we get a white screen. Okay. We take it like that. It's not as good as before. But now for just knocking off a cap here. Which looks as it is partially shorted. It's okay. And here. Yeah. And it's connected to that one. Connected pads. I think the, the drop was really hard, the impact. So, get out the next cap. And now, now we hope that's just, that it's just fine again. Get on the screen. Get on the cable. All what you need is a good thermal. And let's have a look. Now it should boot. And boom! We are back to life again. With our iPhone 8 after a hard drop. Came in for daily recovery. And we got four shorted three shorted and one partially shorted capacitor next beside to the power i see on the top um, i think it's because of the really hard drop the case is a little bit bent and you see we have no um no ambient and ambient light sensor connected but it just works so waiting a short time And you can see it works. Judge is partially working or not. Oh, I know why. And booting up again. Booting up again and just showing you that the touch is working. And we can get the important data. Ich weiß, was du meinst. Dann hast du die Linse geliefert bekommen in so einem Plastikrahmen zum Aufstecken auf die Sieg. Die kannst du da einfach rausnehmen. Das ist einfach nur ein Linsenhalter. Okay. So, you see, we can, we can use the touch and it's just full working. iPhone 8, Data Rescue, after a hard drop, four um, broken capacitors um, and the phone didn't do anything now it's working fine again if you want to learn things like that you can easily do that at a board level repair school germany and if you are working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets you can join our facebook group good morgen smartphone repair group germany i'm out we see us with the next video um, i hope you like that give me thumbs up if you like it share it and i'm out boom back to life again here's ben